All right, just want to cover this example. Um, I don't know really why. I just saw it and I went over it myself. Um, and I did it slightly different than what SOA did, so I figured I'll just cover it, no big deal. Um, this is sort of part of the setup. I want to at least get the time diagrams drawn so I'm not sitting here wasting time drawing them and trying to make them nice and everything, right? So I'm gonna have two of them. I have two uh, pepperchuities. And uh, just excuse me, I have to just basically look at the question here. Uh, the present value of a perpetuity paying 10 at the end of each three year period, with the first period, uh, first payment at the end of year three is 32. So that's why I do have now my scale, keep in mind the scale is in years, and I'm doing at the end of a three year period is 10. The end of the next three period is 10. Perpetuity means, by the way, of course, that it goes on forever. So I'm getting payments. Maybe I buy a perpetuity and I'm getting these payments of 10 every three years, okay? And in some instances, I'm interested, what's the present value, aka what's the price of it, right? At uh, this interest rate, this is the effective interest rate, okay, so we get to use that yearly, by the way. I think they do say annual. Um, yeah, they do say annual, so effective. We don't do any sort of conversion, right? That's nice. So we know um, the present value is 32, right? So we're given that the present value is equal to 32, and this directly implies, well, let's just find this. This is not too bad, right? This is no big deal. I mean, keep in mind, the scale is in years, right? So this tells me that 32 is equal to, how do I discount uh, these payments? Okay, I don't want to back, discount them back to year zero, right? Discount them back to here, right? Just count the time of uh, these little intervals right here, right? So one, two, three, right? Blah, 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 blah. You're probably saying, why the hell is he doing this? It's such overkill. One of the things that's tricky about this test is counting. There's so many annoying counting arguments. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Bottom line is 10 needs to be discounted three years. So 10, uh, the discount factor we use sort of convention is V. Okay, that's, um, that's a discount factor. Plus 10 V6 plus 10 V9, blah, 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 blah. Lo and behold, geometric series. Not hard to see this as a geometric series. I mean, some of the geometric series in exam P are much more difficult to recognize. This, I think, is straightforward. So what can I say here? Uh, this tells me that 32 is equal to 10. Okay, so what's the first term? I'm factored a 10 out, by the way. The first term is V cubed, the common ratio, 1 minus common ratio, 1 minus V cubed. Not too bad. Not too bad. I want to actually find, um, I can find I from this, the effective rate. Um, let me, before I do that though, since I'm running out of room, let me discuss um, the present value of the other perpetuity. So looking back at the question here, at the same effective rate, right, the present value of a perpetuity paying one at the end of each four month period, damn it. They changed me, changed it up on months now, right? Not even just months, but every four month period. Uh, paying one, right at the end. Uh, with the first payment at the end of four months is X. So down here, I have a generic scale and you wanna think about how do you want the time? Um, what do you want? Uh, how do you wanna measure time here basically? Now, this is where I'm doing something different. I think SOA did years or something, I don't know. I'm gonna literally do four month periods. There's no reason why you can't do that. Okay, and uh, you'll see what I mean. So, I'm gonna write uh, actually zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Now these, bear in mind here, okay, these up here were years. These are four month periods, four month periods. So in other words, this is four months, eight months, 12 months. So this is actually a year right here. So now we're paying one at the end of each four month period. One, 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 one. All right. All right. Now, what is the present value of this? Well, they tell me it's X and X is by the way is what I want. So they tell me, so we know, 
that the present value, which is x, is of this perpetuity. This is easy. I'm just going to, I mean, the, this converges. It's very easy. I can even go through the geometric argument. This is just 1 over the interest rate. This is 1 over, and I'm going to call this j, where j is the effective four-month interest rate. J is the effective effective four month interest rate. So now you say, well, does this even help? <laughs> because they told me that this was basically um, accrued interest using the effective rate I, which is up here, which I don't even have. All right, well, let's just um, put this on the back burner for now. I want to find I, and then I'll convert it into J, and then I'll be done. So this is no big deal. I don't even need the BA2 plus or anything for this. This is no big deal. I just want to come up here and compute I using this business right here. All right, so what do we have? What do we have here? All right. So uh, we have this equation, okay? And this is this V, by the way, this is discounted uh, using I. So that's the effective rate uh, sort of implicitly given in V, okay? So let me just solve this real quick. This says that um, we know, so then we have the following. We have 32 times quantity, one minus V cubed is equal to uh, 10 V cubed. Do some algebra, right, abracadabra. Do some algebra, I wanna get V cubed by itself. So let me actually bring it over there. Uh, this looks like 32 is equal to 10 plus 32, so 42 V cubed, no big deal. Um, and I'm gonna use the definition of V cubed. Honestly, at this point, usually I don't even write anything down, I just start doing calculator work and find I. I do it all in my head, but uh, this is what we get, right? Let's, let's go through it. This is now 32 over 42 equals V cubed. Now, for those of you who don't know, definition of V, okay, V is equal to, this is one of the million, and I mean literally, one of like the million things you need to know for this test. I'm not even kidding. It is one plus I to the negative one. That's the definition. So I is implicitly given uh, in V, okay? So what am I gonna do here? Uh, just use your stupendous algebra skills to say the following. This right hand side, right? This is one plus i to the negative one, right? So this means that I can say the following. 32 divided by 42 raised to the uh, negative three is equal to one plus i. In fact, let me just, be, for the sake of room, this is minus one equals i, equals i. So there's my value of i. Let me just compute that real quick. All I need for this one is just the ti 30xs. So I'm gonna say uh, 32 divided by 42, raise that to the negative three, and then I'm gonna subtract one. Uh, that is, Not negative three though. Um, not negative three. Why did you negative three? I'm sitting here talking about algebra skills. This is one negative one third. Damn it! Right? <laughs> uh, you're all shaking your head at me, right? All right. So let's uh, change that to negative one third because I'm silly and I don't know algebra, and I get point nine point oh nine. Right. 0.095, so I is equal to 0.095. There's some other decimals, and I go back and forth about where to round for this exam. They say four decimal places is legit, is enough, but uh, I don't want to talk about that, it's annoying. All right, so this is my I. This is the, this is the annual effective rate. How do I get J? How do I get J? I claim it's not too bad to get J. Think about this. J is the effective four month rate. So basically just think about how many times does J need to accumulate to get to one year? Okay, well we know, I mean this should be, 
not too bad to think about. Okay, we know. We know this. You have to make these kinds of arguments all the time for this exam. We know that 1 plus j, if I accumulate that three periods, right? 1, 2, 3, this is a year. This is one year at, at, at this period 3 right here, is equal to 1 plus i. 1.095 to the 1. To the 1, right? This is just 1 plus i. I hope that makes sense. This is the annual. I need to accumulate three periods, three four month periods to get to uh, the annual effective rate, right? <clears throat> All right. So then j is equal to 1. Point, let's make it the algebra right this time. Uh, 0, 0.95 to the one third minus one, right? Just doing the algebra, and that's equal to. That is equal to. So I already have my my i saved in here. I'm just gonna add one, plus one, and then I'm gonna raise that to the one divided by three, subtract one, and I get 0 0.0306. Zero so this is point. Zero three, zero six. Actually, I should say zero seven. Rounding. So I have x. X is what I wanted. X is what I wanted. So therefore, um, let me just make that substitution. This is my j. This guy is going to go in here, right? In there. And now let's replace that, right? So that's point. Let's just write zero point zero. 307. Just round, I mean, go out to four decimal places like you're supposed to. I actually have it saved in here. I'm just going to do one over that. One divided by what I got, and I get 32.59. So this is 32.59, and that is my answer. That's the present value. That is the value of x. That takes care of it. Tell me what you think. Hope it was helpful. And uh, leave me a comment. Thank you for...